It's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Thank you, dear. Good afternoon, Mr. Yes. Richard and Barrister Anita. You're welcome. Good afternoon. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, this must be your lovely wife. Yes. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. How is it? Thank, Thank you, you very much. So, how is the family, man? Oh, we thank God. All is well. And yours? We are fine as well. You've restored happiness into my family once again. Ah, uh, come on now, don't be like that. I mean, look at you too. It's evident that um, the both of you are still celebrating your victory in court, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who would it? After your wife brought back happiness and joy into our family. You know, my husband's uncles took everything we had. Life was terrible for us. 
Our kids even had to drop from school. Mr. Richard, I must tell you the truth. The experience was horrible. But your wife, after I've lost hope along the line, brought back everything they took away from me. Thank you, Ma. Uh, listen. It is the Lord that restored everything back to you. I didn't. So all praises should go to him. Amen. Oh, it's all right. Mm. This is a check of 10 million naira. It's a little way of saying thank you for everything you've done for us. I don't know how many lawyers in your level that can do this. We appreciate it. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Richard. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is nice. This is really nice. You've done well. Um, on behalf of my wife and I, I want to say once again, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Oh, madam, I must confess, your legal performances in court is something the mouth alone can explain. You, you're such a genius. Your indomitable records, you know. So many, even in thousand years to come, so many lawyers can never beat that. Um, my husband and I have decided to rename our first daughter after you, Anita. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> what is it? Wow. As she's going to study law, she has to understudy under you so you could impart those great knowledge into her. Oh, that would be my mm. greatest pleasure. Trust me. Thank you very much. Oh, well, um, still in the spirit of celebration, I am thinking that um, it won't be a bad idea if we all go out, probably to a five-star restaurant, and do a big lunch. Mr. Richard, I, I, I was sponsored that. You know. Oh, no. oh, Rex, you're so funny. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, this. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, so how do you handle yours? <laughs> okay, well done. All right, they're here. <laughs> okay, take care. Rex says hi, he sends his greeting. So how is it doing? <sighs> I guess it's fine. It's just that I really don't understand his sudden affection for me. All he says is just love, 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 and I'm tired. My dear, don't mind him. That is how they just spring up from nowhere and they start to claim dirty love. Look, my friend, all he wants is in between your legs. And once he gets your panties down, you will change like a family. Mm -hmm. Come on, please. Why do you sound that way? After all, not all guys are the same. Okay, um, my dear, if you say so, it should be all of us there for you. You go side talker. Hello, ladies. What's he doing here? How are you doing? Hi. What's up? Uh, Rex, this is a surprise. What are you doing here this evening? You didn't call me. I didn't know you were coming. Oh, I look, I, I'm very sorry about that. Well, I left work and I felt I should... So, what are you doing here? You see, I felt I should come and take my princess and her friends out to dinner. Uh -huh. Why 
<laughs> it's fine, never mind. Okay, um, so are you game? You, you want to go out for dinner? Yeah, no, I'll just change my shoes. Yes, um, all right, just wait. Oh, would you come? Okay, you can wait for us here. Look, darling, make sure you don't allow Rex keep you for too long, okay? And remember, we have Dr. Louis' class by four today. Of course, because I have a class by then. Oh, sorry, one minute. Um. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, Mr. Here. Okay, I'll, I'll be out soon. I'll be out now, yes. Bye. Take good care of yourself, okay? I will, Andrew, to take care. All right, see you. Bye. Bye. 3.30. <laughs> Bye. And like I was saying, I am the only surviving child of my parents. My elder siblings, four of them died in an accident. So it's just me. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm uh, so sorry about it. It's okay about it. Oh, sorry. Uh, that means you're more or less a pampered child <laughs> because your parents will place no one above you, obviously. Well, uh, you can say that again. You see, my mom would always say, you are our home and away. You know, and when she says that, I, it breaks my heart. I really feel for her, you know. So that's that about me. Evelyn, tell me more about you. Okay. I'm an only daughter. Mm -hmm. We're four in number, three boys and one girl. Wow. And I'm the last. <laughs> <laughs> my father is a retired army general okay. and my mother is a civil servant. That's good. So, Tell me, Rex, mm -hmm. what exactly do you want from me? Since I met you, I haven't been able to take my eyes off you. As a matter of fact, I cannot even take you out of my mind. All I do is think about you all the time. I want to make you mine forever. I want you to be my queen, my princess, name it. I want you to be my sweetheart. Are you serious? I mean every word I have just said. You mean the world to me. 
I want you to be the only woman in my life because in you I have found happiness and true joy. Eve, please be my girl. I don't know what to say. Yes. What did she say Evelyn went to? Why are you asking me again? I have told you she went out with Rex. <laughs> I have told this Eve girl to slow down this thing with Rex, but she wouldn't listen. She's just following him around like cat and dog. I mean, <laughs> when he must have had his food, he will dump her like a used cabbage. What is it with you, self? Why do you keep prophesying doom and negativity? Hello, girls. Aren't you guys leaving me out of this? Who is this Rex guy that I keep hearing his name everywhere? My dear, Rex is My a... My dear, never to worry. He's nobody very important. Hi, girl. Hi. 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 All hail the new lover girl on campus. Oh, no. <laughs> Give it to me. Okay. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> Come and sit. Sit, sit. Uh, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Tell me about it though. I hear you have found yourself a new sweet boy. <laughs> you. I'm not sure, but I think I am so into Rex right now. <laughs> you know? Everything, everything I want in a guy. I told you you were going to love him. Yes, you did. He's so loving. He's so sweet. Oh, I enjoy every little second I spend with him. Wow. <clears throat> Someone is in love here. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. And who told you it has to take up to seven months before one can fall in love? Tom, help me ask her. Jim, please help me ask her. Jenna, you want me to be old and grey, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what I did. Yeah? Come in. Uh, Uncle Richie, I'm sorry to bother you. Uncle Richie, take a look at this laptop for me. I was just working on it and suddenly it just started acting funny. Okay, when, um, when was the last time you used it? T today, just now. All right, one, one second. Okay. <clears throat> Anything yet? Hmm? Well, I, I think that you have to check this icon and the other one, see if it works. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. It's good to go? Yep, absolutely. Ah, are you serious, Uncle Richie? Oh my god, I'm so thrilled! Thank you so much, Uncle Richie. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So, I can go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, Molly. Oh, Lulu. 
Oh, you my God. Uwa. Ah. Uwa the egg. How far now? Uwa. How you did? You know what you make me call you? Eh? Now about that matter, when I've been discussing with you before. You know, say she like music well, well. Hmm? So I can't think whether make I sing love song, give her. Correct love song. Love song. Yeah, love song. I'm calling me. Huh? You they sing music? Come. Which day you become performer? Eh? Obesity. Kwam one. Oh, she no Peter. Hi. You see you now. Ah. Mumu. You <laughs> see Mumu. Which kind of musicians come to call for me so? Eh? Okay, why don't call Moroko Madoka? Ozi Tosarebe. Bright Steve Ezi. Even the Oriental Brothers. Why not call them? Eh? You see why they complain about you? Eh? Okay. Why not call the band? B Square. Two Face. Whiskey or even Davido. Why not call them? Uwa. Huh? Uwa. The matter where they there be say. So Moriko. Huh? Uh, uh, you feel sing. Because if you want to win the heart of this girl, you have to sing the music that will make her happy to be below. Now I make a world carry you as my backup singer. So that when I did sing, you would give me backup. Because I won't sing for her. The love song will go enter inside her heart well well. You know, what you can enjoy. Okay. But uh, you don't really lack of them. Okay. Hey, which kind of music you want to make me sing around? Uh, I don't think calm. Um, I think of maybe Westlife featuring uh, 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 Daddy Shoki. Not before this one. You know, like that one. I okay. hear you. What of Celine Dion featuring Pastor Chris Okoti? Not before this one, you go see that kind of one again. Uh, mm. Hey. Oh, wow. You see, what I think you should do is, eh? Music that we make touch our heart, that we, you know, sweet our belly. Mm, like, uh, like which one? Uh, there is this music that is very, very good, though. The Ula, Ula, La, Ula. Uh -huh. You are my African queen. Uh -huh. Ula, La, Ula. Ah. Ah. Who can't sing that one? Three face. Whether two or three, uh, two face. Now you they make mistake for your life. Don't always they drink your medicine. But you know good great. Now for your village, your boom of your night, they sing the music. Huh? Now you see, eh? Let me just I don't prepare myself, just watch me now. Eh? Because because of her, I went and I ran these beautiful flowers. So when I get there, as I present them this flower, you go hear me they sing, baby, receive this flower from the bottom of my wife. I mean, from the bottom of my heart, you know, and she will not tell me, hey, hey, hey. Abi, this love matter, yeah. it don't return you for the How? Now, this. You know what you mean? From here to there, I am going to present this love flower to my lovely Bye. baby. Bye. Bye, beauty. You go sit down here, now you can have. No, follow me. <laughs> Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see my man today. Where are you going? Hmm. Hmm. Nene. Lovely Nene. At we, um, we... I, I mean, we... Sorry, I... <coughs> Okay, we, I, 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 I come to uh, give you a love song. <laughs> uh, to sing you a love song, beautiful love song uh, that we, that I compose. And uh, it is called a uh, remix. Beautiful love song. Are you ready? So Let's go there. Ready. You are my African queen. Ula, 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 ula. You don't mind it. Shut up. Who's normal this thing sing now? Give me uh, K, no, K8. K8. <coughs> you are my African queen. Ooh la la. I'm gonna my be. Ooh la la. You make me wanna wanna be. I'm gonna wanna wanna be. Ooh la la. Is that Chris? Sorry. Is that Chris? You are my African queen. Ooh, I wanna nah. wear be. Ooh, la, you la. make me wanna wanna be. La, la. I'm a kid, I'm a bit of be. Oh, Ooh, you la. wanna have a la, la. Ooh, la, la. I wanna be. <laughs> you 
Ooh la la, ooh la la. Ooh, what is that? That song was specially dedicated to you. It is called Remix. <laughs> now, guess what? Ta -da la la la. <laughs> I, I bring this flower for you. <laughs> I. Ife! Shut up! Ife! Ife! <laughs> so I brought this from the bottom of my wife. I, I mean, from the bottom of my heart. For you. Take it! You shall. Great. Mm, <laughs> beautiful. I don't say you take it. All right, baby. You want another one? Good. Over here, baby. Oh, come on, baby. Uh, hey. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Nana. Nana. Uh, Nana. 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 What thing you want me to do? I they say correction, they give me nonsense. What then you la 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 la? That's the way the music was sung. Na na. Na. Ma binu now. My little sister in law become a part of temptation for me. Why? Why is she doing this? Oh, everywhere I turn in my own house, I stumble into this little girl trying one silly seductive trick or the other. Why? What is going on? Does she want me to sleep with her? It's not possible. How can? God forbid. What do I do? What do I do? How do I get out of this now? Do I tell my wife about this? What? What do I do? Yeah, come in. Um, Uncle Richard, I found the file. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you.
Just look at her. Feeling like the most beautiful girl in Africa. I mean, I'm even more beautiful than she is. <laughs> One day, I will blind those her eyes and see how those men will be falling for her again. <sighs> more than twice now, I have been dumped and she was picked. What nonsense. Aren't nonsense. This must be stopped. What, what, what? Rex took me on a shopping spree. Oh my oh god. god. Let me see them. Let me see he's them. so nice to me. He's everything, 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 everything. I was in the sky. Wow. <laughs> this is beautiful. And he got me accessories. Oh, yeah. yes, tight. He got me tight too. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is. Let me see. Wow. Please, why don't you come and admire them? Ah, sure, why not? Yes. Um, please. Here, you can have this. And um, you want bracelets? Which one? Which one? Okay, give me I like this one. <laughs> uh, you want a bracelet? Okay, take that bracelet. I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here, take, take oh. this one. And uh, you like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can have it. Take, take. It. It's a suchi meta. Congrats! Thank you. I'm so happy. You <laughs> know. Uh, sorry, uh, you see the sweet arrow of the food you're cooking is what brought me here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. There's something else to tell you. Actually, uh, what? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Equitago, I've huh? accepted you. <laughs> It's a lie. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lie. I'm telling you, you're telling me it's a lie. Why are you talking like this? I'm a 
accepted. Wait, no, no. <laughs> wait, jokes are right there. Mm. Did you just say that you have accepted me? Yes. Shh! Why did you scream now? Eh? I forgot to know if you were eh? They come and ask you why you're screaming. Who will you tell them? Ah! It's very simple. I will tell them that my love has finally accepted me. Is it a crime? Oh, and I'm sure that Oga even screamed more than I did when Madame told him that she has accepted him. Mm -hmm. eh? I'm telling you! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'll call you. Mm. I'll go out. Yes, I'll call you. Okay, but, uh, just, uh, um, hey, give me a piece of meat now. Ah, oh, what? Oh, no. In a soccer. Sorry. I know I'm giving you. I know where you want to give it. Uh -huh. Hey. Oh, what? Uh. Hey! Jane, look at the time. It's midnight and Evelyn is not back. Is she passing the night at his place? Hmm. That is cheap, Nino. I mean, she be bringing herself too low for the guy now. Jenny. Hello, girlfriend. Uh, oh, 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 I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm very sorry. I decided to spend the weekend with Rex. Um, well, I just wanted to find out how you're doing. I'm fine. I'm all right. Thank you. Um, just send my regards to Bliss, okay? Okay, I'll let her know that. You take good care of yourself, okay? All right, then. I'll see you. Bye. Take care. Bye. You didn't tell me you were going to spend the weekend here. I... I just decided to... Decided to. <laughs> the day this thing will fail, you tell me I foresaw it. You go say I talk her. Nothing will fade, Bliss. And besides, why can't you allow those guys to be? You can see I'm studying the Bible. So don't disturb me. Hey, oh, madam. <laughs> Good night. It's in a worry, that's why you can't go here. Yeah. It's just too far. Well, maybe you think about it again. Just just maybe you might um, like it. Be interested, yeah. No. Can't travel that far. You don't want to miss me, huh? Mm hmm. And my <laughs> sister. And my sister. I think she's such a good girl, you know. She's so strong and disciplined. 
what did you say? Queen. You know, ever since she finished secondary school, up to now that she's in university, not for once have I ever seen her with a man. I don't even see her messing around like these young girls do these days in the university. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my darling, if only you know what she has been doing to me of late. You wouldn't even consider that word disciplined. Babes? Yeah, yeah. You're not saying anything. No, 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 no. You're I... acting like I'm lying or praising her unnecessarily. Oh, come on, not at all. I agree with you totally. Mm. I mean, it, uh, it's, it's obvious. She's, she's, she's decent. I mean, if it was to be someone else, like you mentioned earlier, different kind of guys, different kind of men. Be trooping up and down. Trooping in every day, yeah. I absolutely I agree, I agree with you. Mm, she's such a good girl. I'm proud of her. So, so proud of her. The reason I called for this meeting is to remind each and every one of you not to lose focus on the matter on my hands. If I must say, this is probably one of the most challenging cases we have ever worked on as lawyers. But, um... So far, I think we're on point, and the case is most likely to be in our favor. Well, absolutely. The fact that uh, we are prosecuting a case against the most deadly and notorious politician is most challenging. And I doubt we are not losing in the trial. Yeah. The closing is that we have overriding evidence to turn the path of justice. And will definitely take the case to our side. I mean, that's what we are known for, right? Winning cases. So I'm sure this won't be an exception. I love the enthusiasm, I must confess. I truly do. And I must say that all of you have contributed in making this chamber a successful one. And I must commend all of you for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Kudos, kudos, kudos. All right, then. Um, I guess that will be all. my friend are you serious all right let her in at once oh my god good oh, am i seeing a ghost or a double no friend i'm not seeing double hey how are you how you going <laughs> but I spoke to you last month and you never told me you were coming. Oh, I excuse my manners. Have a seat. Thank you. I spoke to you just last month and you never told me you were coming. Yes, because I wanted it to be a huge surprise. Okay, I must admit, you did surprise me. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. How is your family, your husband, your son, your daughter? How is Chicago? Everybody is fine. My husband is doing well. My daughter is fine. They are sending their greetings to you. And you, Anne. How is your husband, your legal practice, Juju, your younger sister, Queen, and mommy at Inugu? Oh. How are they doing? Oh, Richard is fine. And Juliet, oh, you should see her. She is a big girl right now. Uh huh. <laughs> Queen is also in her third year in the university. Okay. And mommy is also fine. She came around just a few weeks back. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Hey, honey. I've been hearing of your numerous legal chronicles here and there. <laughs> anyway, dear friend, I missed you so much and I got you a lot of goodies. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. That better be in that bag. They are in the car. <laughs> Girl, I missed you. You're looking good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just won this recently. Are you serious? Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> is fine thank you <laughs> i was just speaking to goldie last week and she never for once mentioned that she was coming back home are you serious oh god you haven't stopped when are you going to stop with the surprises hi can i what would life be without surprises and besides your wife taught me her little trick 
<laughs> you know, back then in school, she used to play stunts. Really? Yeah. And there's this particular one I remember when we were in GSS3. <laughs> she made the whole class to come out at the assembly ground, only to discover it was just a stunt. Oh no! But <laughs> you never forget anything, G. <laughs> yeah, let's not forget Goldie. Um, how is um, how's your husband Chidox? How's he doing? He's doing very well. That's great. I remember last time we spoke, he was um, talking to me about a project he wanted to embark on. He spoke to me about um, setting up a health center. How did it go? Yeah, yeah. You know your friend is very strong Will. Whenever he's set up to do anything, he does it to the fullest. Yeah, he established it. And today, it's one of the biggest health centers in Chicago. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm so proud. Do you know he hasn't even called? All right, I'll call him. Look at me, I didn't even offer you anything today. What do you want? Anything. Mm. Nene? <sighs> today, finally, history will be made. Or another feather will be added to crown our legal glory. The case we've been pursuing for the past six to seven months it's going to be finally decided today. If we lose, that will mean that will be our first loss ever. But if we do win, as usual, then that will mean more grease to our elbows. Exactly. So far, there is nothing showing that uh, we are going to lose this case. And I believe we will win. Exactly. We are going out there to do what we know how to do which is claiming our legal victory. Absolutely. Nothing is stopping us. Victory is ours. Shall we pray, please? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Where are you going with that? Uncle Luce asked for it. Okay. Make it ourselves then. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, come in. <clears throat> Where's the net? I'll start to get my drinks. Oh shit. I actually sent her on an errand, so I decided to come and serve you myself. Okay. <clears throat> you okay? Thank you. Um, enjoy your drink, Uncle. Yes, I'm fine. You mean none of you have that file? Madam, you think it from the two yesterday, it's properly understood it. Oh, that's true. He must have left it in my room. 
All right, we have approximately 50 minutes before the judge arrives. Let me rush Why not call somebody at home to bring it at once? Yes. My husband has gone out and my sister's in school right now. Don't worry. I'll be back in the studio, okay? Okay, you still have time. No, okay. Okay, please be fast. Please be fast. Okay. All right. All right. So, Anita, can you just please hear me out? Please don't do this, okay? Don't drive up. I'm, I'm begging you. Just hear me out, please. Anita. Anita, I'm talking. Anita, I'm talking to you. Now, where you going to? Where you going to? Where's that stupid girl? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Who? That's not a bad shit. Okay, don't move. You just, you just run. You just, you just speed. You just move. You just come on. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. You, where they work for government house, when we are here, they ask me where they for about waiting they happen. I should be asking you that question. Because the way Madame takes speed out, come over here now, eh? I tell you, for my five years of working in this house, I never see that kind of thing before. Mm -hmm. And the way her sister even takes zoom on, eh? carrying her bag. Yeah. I kind of wonder, what could be going on wrong here? Are you asking me? Mm -hmm. I'm asking you, you're asking me. You're asking me, you, they inside me, I don't answer the they ask me. No, what? It must be a serious matter. Now, you suppose to know that one, not be me. But tell me the truth. No, no fighting, no nothing. Huh? Okay? How do I explain to my wife that what she just saw right now isn't what it is? What? 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 How do I begin to start to explain? How do I start? Oh God. How oh, could it never be well with you? 
to never be well with you for doing this to me. Chief Kunle. It's on record that you're a rapist. Objection, my lord. The particular counsel is digressing from the case before this honorable court. Objection sustained. Counsel, rephrase your statement. As your lordship pleases. How can you say that? But I see what I saw you doing on that bed was not rape. Order, report. Order. What do you mean? Order. I don't understand. Objection, my lord. You can have continued to digress. Objection sustained. Prosecuting counsel, I shall not warn you again. If you digress from this case into something else, it will tantamount to the contempt of this honorable court. Have you nothing else to cross-examine him on? Let's go on with the case. Obviously not in the right state of mind. Your inability to properly cross-examine. Chief Kule has almost ruined things for us. Madam, you seem off. Did anything happen when you went to collect the file at home? Madam, are you okay? Is anything the matter? The prosecuting counsel has failed to prove his case beyond reasonable doubt that Chief Kunle Olamide, the member representing Alomoba constituency, on the 13th day of August 2013, murdered Mr. and Mrs. Onobanjo after demolishing their houses. I therefore find him not guilty as charged and is accordingly discharged and acquitted. I rise.
How was the case today? How did it go? How did the case go? Are you alright? No. What? You okay? What was that I saw earlier between you and my sister? What was that all about? Look, darling, it's... It's nothing. I'm your husband. And have been for so many years now. I would not lie to you. I beg you. Please believe me. You didn't, you didn't even let me talk to you the other time. It wasn't what, you, what it seemed like. Fine. I was, I, was, I was sitting here reading a mug. Your sister walked in with a glass of juice for me. She gave it to me. Fine. But then she sat back. Now, I said that wasn't enough. She jumped on me, asking me to sleep with her. And then coincidentally, that's when you walked in. I was trying to explain these things to you. Are you listening to what is coming out of your mouth? My little sister seducing you? How? I love you. I love you too much to hurt you like that. Fine, look, I know this might come as a surprise to you, but your sister have been trying for a very long time now to seduce me in this house. And God knows that's the truth. I can't betray you that way. I'm telling you. What are you saying? My sister has been seducing you to sleep with her in this house and not for once. Have you ever mentioned it to me? Are you listening to the dumb thing coming out of your mouth? Are you? I am going to get to the bottom of this. And Richard, it better not be what I'm thinking. Anita, I'll... Richard, has, that is like his son to me. How could he do this to you? How? When, when, when did he become this animal that beats and rapes women? Mother, he has always been trying to sleep with me. But every time he tries it, I turn him down. It's, it's because I didn't want to come in between him and my sister. That is why I didn't complain to anybody about it. <laughs> but look at what he did to me. <laughs> look at what he did to me, Mama. <laughs> he got me thoroughly beaten and raped. <laughs> Listen. No man has the right to do such rubbish to any of my daughters. <laughs> if Richard can have the mind to treat you like this, <laughs> then he has wronged the family. And I'm not going to take it lightly. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you can you see you've not done it this year? Okay, you know what? You guys should just drop this. Like seriously, let's talk about something else. No, she needs to. Oh, he is getting down from the fact that this year I've not had it. I've not seen any man this year. Oh. Well, come on, I'm not gonna believe that. Can you just leave her alone? Yeah, it's CTC. <laughs>
Chief Kunle Olamide, a member of Lagos State House of Assembly, who has been standing trial for murder and illegal demolition, has been discharged and acquitted from the Lagos State High Court. Unfortunately, most popular Lagos lawyer, Ms. Anita Okonkwo, the prosecuting counselor, who is known to have never lost a case, today sets a bad record for herself as she loses her first case ever. Now to entertainment news. Oh, come on. How can Anita lose such a case? I can't, I can't believe this. What? Oh, that's impossible. Yeah. Yeah, hello, Richard. Yeah, what's this news about Anita losing the case today? Are you okay? Okay, uh, I mean, I'll be there right away. Okay. Is everything okay, Jay? Richie seems to be in the problem. Mr. Richie? Yeah. What's wrong with him? I don't know, but I need to go find out. Now, come on. How could you have allowed this to happen to you? The moment you know face your wife's sister and start showing signs of seduction, you should have told your wife. Judge, I am confused. Honestly. And as it is right now, I don't even know what to do or what not to do. You don't have to kill yourself over this. I think all you need to do is to try to calm her down and explain things to her. Besides, she should know what you can do and what you cannot do by now. Hold it there, Annie. Are you trying to tell me that Richard tried to rape your younger sister in your bedroom and on your matrimonial bed? Look, I don't know what to think anymore. I don't. I am so confused. Like I explained. I only stumbled into them on the bed. She alleges my husband was forcing her into bed. Whilst Richard is saying that she was seducing him. Because of them, I lost a case for the first time in my life. Setting a bad record for myself and my chambers. The question is, don't you trust your husband enough to believe him? Look, Annie. I've known Richard for 15 years plus. And if there's anything I can say about him, it's the fact that he's a decent man with high level of integrity. There's no way Richard would do such a thing. I'm confused, God. Cheers. Cheers. To long life and prosperity. <laughs> But look at us today. <laughs> Rex, you have indeed and in truth shown me a different side to love. Thank you. Evelyn? Yes. In your arms, this few days, I have found true and pure love. And I have no doubt in my heart that we would make a perfect couple. And I'm led to want to ask you this question. Okay. What question do you want to ask?
I have been thinking about us. And I'm seriously guided by love to ask you this question from the depth of my heart. Would you please marry me? <laughs> Rex, you're, you're joking, right? No, you're no, you're look, kidding. I, I, I am, I'm, look, I'm very serious, my darling. Without you, I can't think. I can't... I can't even breathe. I beg you, please. Be my wife. Yes. Yes, um. <laughs> I'll marry you. I'll. I'll be your wife. <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is beautiful. I'm glad you like Thank it. Thank you. I love it. I love it. And I'm going to love you more. I'll love you more. And I'll love you forever. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to show my friends. Really? Yes. I love you. I love you more, darling. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just going to make it for Valentine. <laughs> Uh-uh. Why will I change now? God, it's so gorgeous. Hello, babe! <laughs> oh my god! Finally, the Lord has done it for me! <laughs> so tell us, girlfriend. What has the Lord done this time around that he hasn't done before? He has done a lot, please. He's put a smile on my face. And I'm sure anyone that hears will smile with me too. So tell us, girlfriend, because our ears are itching to hear it. Okay. He proposed and I accepted. I said yes. He proposed. This is beautiful. Thank you. Congrats, dearie. Thank you. <laughs> Please, are you not happy for me? <sighs> this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, so much. Thank you so much. Oh, thank so you. Much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. Thank you. It's gold. Oh my god. It's gold. Very good. It's empathy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> thank I'm you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Both of you feet. Oh, please. <laughs> so, um, tell us, how are we going to celebrate this? Oh, definitely. I'm going to take you guys out now. Don't you know me? I'll take you to the wedding. Definitely. Confusion in my head are decisions. Yeah, I must make my baby. That I see, please tell me. Oh, I need to understand, understand myself before I take a stand. Yeah, on who you are, it's impossible to know how you feel if you. Stand tell me I thought so deep my brain is cracking Tell me and then there's misery in my mind In my mind Tell me I need 